welcome back everyone, Toys Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse News update. Today, we're going to be talking about two brand new Amazon exclusives for the DC Multiverse line. One involves new characters, new figures, that's always nice, and one is going to glow in the dark, but you probably already have it if you are a fan of of that particular era of DC Comics. And what's really nice is that lately, especially on my socials, I've been showing everybody, it's been more than just Batman. Yes, McFarlane Toys makes a lot of Batman. I think that was lost on a few people. They think, oh no, it's, it's, it really is just all Batman. No, we've created quite a, a team of eclectic heroes, but now, and in looking at it, and, and yes, I know he's done female figures in the past, but let's get ones that aren't associated with Batman, Superman, and the like. Let's get Crimson Fox and Vixen and all that. More female figures, McFarlane Toys. But before we get started, as always, if you're interested in anything we're talking about here, I will have affiliate pre-order links down below. Thanks for using my links. Yada, yada. First and foremost, look who's making a return. The Joker Dragon. Now, this thing was cool. And it is cool. It's definitely different. Now it can glow in the dark if you want to do this. So as an Amazon exclusive, we have the glow in the dark Joker dragon. It's going to be the exact same figure, the head, the mouth, everything moves. He's got the tail. It's a big bendy wire. It kind of sort of moves. It's got the stand. You know the drill by now. So if you like Dark Knight's Metal, Death Metal, that era, again, of DC Comics, then this will probably be for you unless you already have it. And then maybe you want a second one? There was a few in the comics. They all kind of circle around Castle Bat. It was a bat poop crazy time for DC Comics. I enjoyed the, the death metal Batman villains. I like that little team. It was a yes and no. We're going to back and forth. And then the, the ending was just something else. But yes, if you'd like, as always, I will put affiliate links down in the description below. Now... The figure set, that probably will have a lot more appeal, especially to DC Multiverse collectors who like new characters, at least one. So we're kind of going KB Toys old school with a pack out of three and you get one new character technically. But this is the Court of Owls featuring the owl guy and then you got Talon and Nightwing. And, and there's an owl. There's an actual owl in the box. So that's always nice. Nightwing looks to have a new head portrait. He's in his red armor. There's, I think, some new to old here with the body type. He's got his Eskrima sticks. We're not getting to that again. <laughs> but ultimately, while I like blue Nightwing, yes, red looks pretty sleek as well. We also have the owl guy, the owl guy in charge. One thing, one, I do like that he comes with an owl. They use a suited body. Now, if Hugo Strange's head was removable proper, I would have said that's a great body type for Hugo Strange right there. No, <laughs> of course not. But what would have been cool is if this guy came with several masks that you could put on your other characters. That would have been really awesome to see. But you get the masked owl man, the guy in charge, or one of them in charge, however that storyline went. And then you have... Talon, and he's got a new color scheme. So the prior release was all in black. This one is more in that brown. It's a, it's a very cool looking color. I think that that really fits. He's got the gold, the red eyes. He's got his knives and his sword. He's, he's all properly taloned out. So you get three figures, suited body, Nightwing, Talon, again, for a court of owls, right? It's, it's, I'm going to be honest with you. As much as I care about that story, like I thought it was interesting. I thought it was cool. And then they went like too much owl. Like, okay, John, he could have just could have been a weird, creepy cult of Gotham City. You need to go with the whole mutant owls and the dead town. It's, it's comic books. You know what I mean? What are you going to do? But here they are. Everything in the box. You get those stands. Thank God you get three stands and you get the cards. Just FYI. So, <laughs> and based on the card, yeah, you could technically call that guy on the mask the Owl Man, the Owl, Owl and Talon. Get it with Nightwing. A lot of bird references. McFarlane is keeping on brand with this box set, most definitely. So, that'll wrap it up for my quick news vid regarding two new Amazon exclusives. 
What are your honest thoughts about this? I do like the Court of Owls pack, but for the one new figure, technically, that's kind of what I want it for. I do like the town. For me, this is going to be a wait for a sale price, or a clearance price, something like that. It's cool, but I don't necessarily need this character. It's like, yes, it would be awesome to have, but... You get the idea. Joker Dragon, no. I'm uh, good on that one. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, they just keep bringing them on. And stay tuned. We got some more to talk about later this week. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.